The lighting in here don't do shit for this camera. Do you hear me? The work I got to do is to improve the lighting. All right. Okay. We're going to talk about something in a minute. Promise. We're going to talk about something. It's a brewing. Oh, there it goes. Let's start right here. I was looking for this. I was looking for this. I was looking for this. Y'all, I, I was told. Anyway, welcome to the wine. And it is this. Texas South Wind. And this is the blueberry one. Okay, so. We had this. Right? Keyword here is had. Now. Tis a brown bottle, okay? Brown. But it almost looks black. There is so much work you can do with this bottle. You just want to remove the label. And this label is on here pretty good. Okay. But it slide, it slide off. Slide off fairly easy. So this was the strawberry wine. Strawberries. <clears throat> Y'all already know what strawberries do. Okay. So. Love bottle. Alright. So. How do you want to create the love bottle? You want to remove the labels. See, when they got stickers like this on them, that's how you know you winning. So, it's a little bit expensive, okay? I'm going to tell you that now, but it's worth what you're paying for. It, it does what it's supposed to do. And let me show you what that hoodoo do, okay? Let me show you what that hoodoo do. Can y'all see that? What does that say? <gasps> what? That's what the hoodoo do. -do. <laughs> and that's why this wine is so freaking amazing. Anywho. I came here to talk about enlightening mints. Okay. Because it would be seeming upon my observations in my travels. Shout out to Joseph M Merch. Joe, I'm, a, uh, I'm, I'm trying not to fuck your name up. I just call you Joe. That's easier for me. Anyway, uh... Yo, I love talking to Joe. I be trying to catch him. So, like, I ain't got a whole lot of people that I watch. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay? Because <laughs> people be all up in La La Land and shit. I live on planet Earth. I am on the Earth plane. I am a human. Having a human experience. Therefore, I must leave. Okay, okay. So I let I let woo woo shit. Y'all, hey, y'all got it. Now I mean, I fucks with the woo woo. Don't get me wrong. I do fucks with it. Ooh. Mhm. Mm I let yeah fucks with it. But uh, I ain't forgot the foundational purpose of why I'm here. Anywho, moving along. Enlightening me. It, it would seem that some of you do not understand that everything is 
everything. Okay? Y'all ain't quite got there yet. It's because you ain't being taught to sit your ass down and actually ponder the world. Get into the mind frame of the philosopher. Okay? Y'all know how to do that. So, that's why you have a queen here so you can sit at the feet of the throne and be taught. God damn it. Now, what we gonna talk about? Enlightenment. That's what we talking about. Enlightenment comes in many forms, but we gonna start with the first thing. If you still banging on religion, you have not hit enlightenment yet. General statement, for there are no absolutes. There are exceptions to the rule. Now, with that being said, understand this, that exceptions are few and awfully small. So, don't be, don't look at this video and be like, yeah, that's me. No, the fuck is not. Maybe. You gotta be true to yourself. Okay? True to yourself. Be honest. Now, It is understandable when you first come out of religion into spirituality that you get angry at it and shun it. This is what they say is the first stage of grief. Anger. Okay. Anger. However, you must move on and move past the anger and get to other things. And as you do these things, you will realize that the religion, whatever it was, is an ally, okay? I'm showing you the label with the Bible scripture on it because there will be those who are at the level of dog. Uh oh. I dropped y'all. Okay. 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 The Bible says you shouldn't be drunk. Therefore, you shouldn't drink. There are several instances where the turn up is real. Okay? In the Bible, and the wine is on deck, okay? And Jesus is in attendance, and Jesus helped create some wine. I'm sure y'all know that. Y'all know the story, turn water to wine at the wedding. It's you. And then if you're still on that stage, then it means... You're not paying attention to what the fuck is going on around you. And therefore, you have not had your enlightenment. Now, let's just go with the thoughts and views in this video. Are the opinions of myself. Anyway. Shout out. So. That is my personal belief. Certain things you go revisit. And you see if you hold the same opinions and thoughts. And sometimes you may. You know. Don't mean that before you walked into your spiritual path or whatever. You didn't already bring with you some tools. Okay. A lot of people have tools and they don't fucking understand that they have these tools and they think they need other shit. You have to pay attention to what the fuck is going on so you know what you got. Okay? So, you know, 
But if you still poking that shit and not questioning what the fuck is going on in your in your mind, deeply pondering, meditation style and shit. If you're not doing that thing, then you're not gonna get any enlightenment. That's like part of the fucking work. The work requires you to sit down and shut the fuck up, okay? Requires you to sit down and shut the fuck up. This one reason why I'm not on here all day, every day, talking to you motherfuckers. I got work to do. I gotta sit down and shut the fuck up. I say, sit down and shut the fuck up. I say, sit down and shut the fuck up. Sit down and shut the fuck up. Oh, sit down, shut the fuck up. Oh, sit down. Drop y'all again. I was in it. Sit down, shut the fuck up. Sit down, sit down. Sit down and shut the fuck up. Put a hymn out there for y'all. <clears throat> Make me a book. The hymn note of Queen. Look at that. I don't think I'm really gonna do that shit, but sound good. Sounded good in my head. Who knows? I am discovering that a lot of things that I said I wanted to do. Oh yeah. Shout out to Joe. Why I shout out to Joe? Cause Joe is a heavy influence upon this video. Because the video I listened to him, he was talking about responsibility. And. Touche, my nigga. I co-signed. Hey, G. Mm. For y'all to y'all, for those of you who don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. First and foremost, let me say this. <laughs> Joe is a white dude. Um. And he going through his own spiritual journey. Yo. Real time, real nigga shit. I fucks with Joe. Fucks with Joe. Because, I mean, I feel like we have similar ideologies on different paths type shit. So, you know, I fucks with him. And, and I mean, he can be like cringy and shit sometimes. You know, but like, I don't know. He's not as crass as I am. However, there are very few people that are just as fucking vocal <coughs> in the uh, in the term getaway as me. Okay, so that's not a thing. But I like the way, and I, I and he's been. He's been more open than I have, so like he's an inspiration for that. Because we got similar paths and I'm just like I think there has been a fear around me actually expressing my past to people. And I'm like, fuck that shit. Be me. Show them who the fuck I am. You can sell period comment goddamn weirdo. Anyway, talk about me any motherfucking way. So why I need you? Fuck you. Fuck you and your opinion, bitch. Do you got what I got? Can you get what I got? Then fuck your opinion. Fuck you. That's how I feel. So, yeah. So I'm being more open, but he is. Watching him has been very inspirational to help me in that, in that mode. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, Joe did a video on responsibility, and I pretty much co signed everything he said in that damn video. Yep, sure do. Because. There is a balance that must be maintained is what people don't understand when you walk into this shit. I don't know if gonna come into the spiritual world and just start jumping up and flying with ghosts and shit. Fuck is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? You wanna be crazy? You want some psycho men? Is that what you want? Some of y'all do want some psycho men. Some of y'all want too many goddamn men. What the fuck is you doing? Being an addict? Call it spirituality. Mm -hmm. 
If that's what we're doing. Hey, it is. Anyway. No. You got to sit down and actually ponder what the fuck it is you're actually doing. You got to do that. Okay, so here's the thing. Like, I'm live right now, and I don't know what kind of account that I'm on live. Different accounts do different things. So, like, this account, people can call me on this account. On a different type of account, I can send people stuff. Ooh, let me see. Is this how this go? Oh, okay, like this. Well, fuck it then. Let me just send it, send it to everybody. Uh-oh, dropped out again. I don't know why I keep dropping y'all. Hey, drop y'all ass off. Drop, drop, drop. Drop, drop, drop. Sound like, uh, what's her name? Came through dripping. Drip, drip. Came through dripping. So, I'm just doing it. I ain't never did this shit before. I'm just doing it because somebody else did it. And so, I'm going to copy it and see, see what it do. Damn, I got a lot of people out here. Tells all these people. Instagram just sent me a message about some shit. If you just now coming in, hold on. I'm, I'm experimenting shit. You know y'all, y'all ain't no, God dog. Damn. Oh, I sent it out to the wrong motherfucker. Oh well, maybe that motherfucker come through say some dumb ass shit so I can cuss their ass out. Come over here with that bullshit. Maybe it's smart and it won't come at all. However, I did send the invitation, so if they come or not, I can't feel no type of way about it. God dog it. I didn't know I had this many people. Like, damn. I'm just trying some shit. Ooh, finally, we done. Good lord. I don't even know if anybody gonna show up. We do up here. What was I talking about? Enlightenment, banging on religion, sitting the fuck down and setting the fuck up. Oh, see, was you here for the hymn? New girl created a whole new hymn, a Negro spiritual. I created a whole new Negro spiritual. Did you see it, Chief? Let me know. Did you see it? Because if not, I'll perform it again. If you see the Negro spiritual, what's up, Sandra? Hi there. Hey, y'all. There go my. First level Reiki teacher in the building. What it do? If I'm not mistaken, let me calculate this right. Nina, correct? What's up, D? How y'all doing? Look, I was asking T if she saw my Negro spiritual. Because I created a whole nother Negro spiritual for y'all ass. Came real. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to sing it again. All right, let me see if I can get the beat. Hold on, let me go get it. Let me go get the shit. I'll make sure I get the beat. Because see, now I got to now I gotta perform for y'all. So I got to make sure I, I perform correctly. And when you perform correctly, you know, you got to have the beat keeper. We got to go get the beat keeper. Shout out to the ancestors. We're going out here to get the ancestor stick, okay? That's what we doing. We're going to get the ancestor stick. Because we got to keep the beat to the Negro spiritual. Okay? We got to keep it. I think, I think the beat just changed. I don't know because I can't actually remember what it was. Did, have y'all seen this stick? Y'all seen this stick in my pictures? Look. You would get your ass with this stick. Okay. Let me see. Let's get a beat. Oh, here we go. You gotta set the fuck up. Oh, 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 you gotta set the fuck up. Oh, I said you. Oh, you. You, you, you. Uh. <laughs> That's my new Negro spiritual, okay? Cause sometimes you gotta shut the fuck up, okay? You gotta shut the fuck up. So I got some research to do, cause there is a spirit 
I'm on that car right now. I love you. Girl, look. Look. I got a spirit. Okay? And it is... It is disturbing my soul. You understand? And I told y'all this. It is well with my soul. I'm saying peace. And this spirit is disturbing my damn peace. Okay? It's disturbing peace. I need to name this spirit. Before I go to fuck in, okay? Because I'm going to fuck in because I can't have these spirits fucking around with me like that because we fight not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers that live low but sit in high places. But I am not afraid of you. I'm gonna be so ass <laughs> with this shit. Okay, look. Okay, so when you got to deal with spirits and shit like that, it is very. I mean, you you can get rid of a spirit without actually knowing its name. Okay, you can do that. However, if you know the motherfucker name, that's how you get. To the itty gritty. Okay, Mo. See you later. Uh, that's how you get to the gritty nitty nitty pity pity. Okay, you got to um name it. That's how you you want to banish the shit. You got to be able to name the shit. I want you to open your Bibles. Okay, go open your Bibles. For those of you that was Christian, if you wasn't Christian, then tell me what the fuck you was, and I'll tell you what to open. Okay? <laughs> but, um, open your Bibles and read about the many times that a spirit was exercised in the Bible. When it was called out by name, you know, there was an exchange. Sometimes there was an agreement for the spirit to go away, and sometimes... The spirit was just upset that you knew what the hell it is. Because, you know, they darkness. They move in darkness. A lot of people can't see in the dark. So, you you you, you call their name. You done brought their ass to the light. So, that mean they seen it. Y'all see the movies? You shine the light on the damn monster or whatever. Yeah. You know, that shit. Okay. So, you got to call them out by name. So, I, I got to do some research. To find out what this spirit is because this spirit is creating confusion. You know what I'm saying? And you know, confusion is alright. They call it chaos magic. Okay, everybody can't. Everybody is not a chaos magician. Some people are just fucking agents of chaos and destruction, and they're not in their righteousness to be able to. Um, actually cultivate or put energy out that is actually going to help humanity. Hell, some of them, that ain't their goal. They go like to help humanity. They go like to destroy the motherfuckers. I don't know what they gain out of that, but you know, I don't know, maybe some souls. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I ain't got that far. But, um, yeah, I got one. I, I'm going to have to Contend with. And I don't know. Maybe I won't contend with it because I don't have time to to deal with certain things. Okay? I, I just don't know how I feel if I feel like I need to go ahead and contend with these things. Okay? <gasps> what else? I'm just going to tell y'all. Okay, that's enough about me. I just need to vent about that particular situation. Here. I was, oh yeah, the love bottle. What's up, R&B Tarot? So, you miss my Negro spiritual? You can catch it on the playback. <laughs> I don't know how much. <laughs> I'm sure that shit rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, but you look. I gotta go where the spirit tell me. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't got time. I ain't got time. Look, this is a, this gonna be a love bottle, okay? So, I don't know, y'all remember that wine I was drinking? I done took the labels off now. But I got a other bottle. This the one I'm sipping on right now. Same brand. This one's just blueberry. Uh, and uh, this one's blackberry. This the first one I had. This one was a strawberry wine. It was, it was okay. But I think I'm burnt out on the strawberry wine because that was the wine I liked when it was in Italy. This is still good. But I don't know. I, I wouldn't feeling it as much as I was the other one. But let me tell you something. This is a good-ass wine. It is expensive, though. Okay? But anyway, because of the color of the bottle, the love bottle. So I'm going to tell y'all how to make you a love bottle. Okay? Now, magic is practical. Okay? Practical layer shit. That's why when y'all go in people's house, don't be touching people's shit. You don't know what the fuck they got going on up there. Don't be touch people. You know how people come to your house? They come to your house and be like, Oh! This is such a nice plant. What the hell you doing? <laughs> Yo, don't do that. People have all kind of torn shit in their house. This will be one of the things that will be torn in your house. But again, back to the top of your hand, magic is very practical, okay? So, you will clean your bottle, mess your bottle. Now, you really want a black bottle. Now, you trying to manifest the seat. I told y'all the other day when I was in the grocery store, this not a no spectacular wine, okay? It's just a regular bottle of wine. However, let me tell you what it is. All right, you can call this your manifestation bottle, okay? Different things are going to go in different bottles. But today, we're going to talk about the little bottle because this is the one that I prepared. So, hold on. Let's see how difficult this manifestation would be with this. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to tell you with this one. You're going to have to be very careful when you pull the label off of this, okay? Very careful because this is one of those labels that will rip. And if it rips, you can still get it off. You just soak the bottle in some hot water, okay? And then scrub the label off. It's just going to be a little bit more work to prepare the bottle. Okay, so but we're not working with that one today. We're gonna work with this here love bottle now because of its dark color. Okay, we're gonna keep people out to be serious now. Whatever you want to bring to your love relationship, um, you want to put those things in there your herbs, whatever you so choose to be. I'm not giving out no recipe, I'm just giving out a how to. Okay. So, you want to put your herbs in there. Um, let's say you wanted to bring some passion to your relationship. You're going to stick some panties in there. Okay? Panties. Uh, my door just open. Well, unfortunately, we won't get to finish the little tutorial right now. My husband just came home. Y'all stay dark and lovely while spreading your love and light. See you next video.